Part 18. Escaping the Room of Requirement. I firmly held my wand, ready to help defend Harry from Draco if he tried to hit Harry. Like I said before, I'll defend Harry in a heartbeat if I need to, no matter who or what tries to hurt him. In a flash, I saw a light coming straight past Harry and me, and it hit Draco's hand as the wand fell away. Someone got his wand away from him before Draco could do anything. I turned to look to see who it was and saw it was Hermione who used the spell. I noticed Ron was behind her. Then, Goyle immediately came back beside Draco with his wand, attacking back at her, Ava Kedavra. It didn't hear Hermione as it hit the dining stone and flew into the air somewhere. Damn it, now we'll have to go and search for it again, I thought. Ron shouts as he runs after Goyle, That's my girlfriend, you numpty! I snickered hearing his comment as I saw Ron chasing after him. I saw her money was stunned. I'm glad they're both finally together. It took them long enough. Harry suddenly sees the diadem up above a birdcage. I looked up to see it, but noticed it was on the highest deck possible. How in the world will we get it now? Before I can ask that to Harry, it bounced and went somewhere else. I don't know where it went. I turned around quickly to see Blaze was about to fire a spell at Harry. I alarmed to Harry. Harry, behind you. Harry turns to me and fires at Blaze's wand, making it fly out of his hand. Expelliarmus. I smiled as Hermione came back to me and Harry, all of us looking up to see everything was going to crumble down. All the towering walls around us were going to crumble as I went from behind on guard too scared to death. Harry, Hermione, and I went side by side as we saw it all happening. Did you see where it went? The diadem Harry, she asked him. It's gone, Hermione. Well, never before Harry could even finish what he was saying. We all saw it drop down the aisle in front of us. The three of us looked at each other and immediately ran towards it. We tried to catch it, but suddenly a pile of books nearly fell onto Harry. Whoa! Hermione ran ahead of us, too. Leaping over the books as she grabbed the diadem, Harry and I caught up to her as I grinned with relief. Well done, Hermione. Let's go and find Ron and get out of here, Harry said as I nodded in agreement. As we were about to do so, we saw Ron running towards us and being chased by what looked like a huge river of flames. Run, Ron shouted as he went ahead. Goyle set the bloody place on fire. Ugh, damn it, it's always something else, I swear. We started running for our lives as we dashed through different aisles to try and get ahead of these flames, but they followed us everywhere, no matter which way we seemed to go. In irritation and with quick thinking, Harry told us to split up. We all tried to go our separate ways, but I almost got trapped and engulfed amidst the flames. I believe we all almost got trapped for that matter. I started to get scared and panicked and kept running towards the center seeing Hermione, but all of us ended up bumping into each other from being separated. The flames were getting stronger as more things were getting caught on fire, catching up to us. Damn, it's no use, I exclaimed. It keeps coming up with no free path. What are we going to do? Do we climb, Hermione asked. No, it'll just follow us more, Harry responded. I mean, Draco and Blaze climbed a stack and are now trapped, so that's not smart for us to do. I saw him looking around for a way to get out as we all looked. My eyes widened as I saw some more broomsticks. This is probably our only way to get out. Guys, look, we can use these, I exclaimed and pointed at the old broomsticks. Let's all take one and get out of here, Harry stated. Good idea, Paige, Ron shouted as he grabbed one that Harry handed him. We all grabbed a broom as Hermione put the diadem on her head, flying up above everything towards the top. I flew up to the top of the room with the others as the dragon flames managed to miss us. As we tried to escape, we looked down to see Goyle get swallowed up in flames. Serves him right, I hear Ron mutter. I go go to myself as Harry said, Come on, guys, this way. Wait, Harry exclaims. What about Malfoy and Blaze? My eyes grew wide as I looked at Ron, and Ron looked at Hermione. He's joking, right? He asks her with surprise. I looked around and saw Draco and Blaze atop a tower close to crumbling down. I mean, after all, we can't just leave both of them here to die. I mean, right? 
I shrugged my shoulders to mean, I don't know, as Harry raced down to grab Draco with his hand. Thinking about it, I added, I mean, we can't leave them behind. Ron followed Harry down to Blaze to grab him, yelling, If we die for them, I'll kill you, Harry. Immediately as they both left the tower, it came tumbling down, blinding Harry and Ron below. Thank goodness Ron and Harry didn't save them in the nick of time, I thought. I noticed Harry and Ron swerving to prevent things from falling onto them. In a panic, I immediately looked at Hermione. Hermione, I think they need light to see us, I shouted. I was about to say the same thing, she responded. She raised her wand, seeing the glowing light shining from it above. A huge smile came to my face as they came up to catch us where we were waiting. That was brilliant, Ron said to Hermione. I glanced at Harry as we all looked at each other and started to fly again. We flew towards the bright light. I closed my eyes, unable to see anything since the light was so bright. Before I knew it, I busted through the wall and landed hard in a corridor. Everyone else busted through right behind me as they landed as hard as I did. Hermione landed next to me as I turned my head to see if she was okay. She turned to look at me as the diadem fell from her head and started to spin madly on the ground. Hermione and I stood up quickly as the others did as well. Harry grabbed it in a flash as I watched Hermione give Harry the basilisk fang. The diadem smoked and I saw Harry stab it with the fang. Right away, I saw Harry tumble down in serious pain and agony. Ron, Hermione, and I drew our attention to Harry as I got down close to him. Harry, are you all right? I asked softly. I looked down at the diadem with some black coming out of it as Ron kicked it into the room of requirement. We watched it explode within the flames as it entered the fire and faces came and went out of the smoke. Voldemort must be getting a little weaker and more vulnerable now, I thought. I turned and looked at Draco. Pure fear was shown in his eyes, and I looked toward Harry. We watched as Blaze ran off, and Draco looked at us again. He started to leave, but turned to us like he wanted to tell us something, but he didn't. I wonder if he wanted to thank us for saving his life, but just didn't know how to say it, or admit that he was thankful that Harry mainly decided to save him. We watched Draco run away, probably to follow along with Blaze as he ran off too. You're bloody welcome, Pratt, Rod exclaimed to Draco. I snickered lightly as I stared at Ron, who stared at Hermione, who stared at Harry. Harry, what is it? I asked him with concern. Harry looked in the distance but said, Ron, you once asked me if I thought he felt it, Voldemort. When we destroy a Horcrux, when we destroy a piece of his soul, well, he does. We all looked at him as he finally looked up at the three of us. I could tell Harry was starting to be really scared but held his bravery high. I think, in a way, we're all feeling the same way. Scared, but trying hard to be brave like a Gryffindor should. It's just the snake, he muttered as he looked at us. She's the last one, the last Horcrux. Where will he take her? Ron asked. Someplace safe, Hermione stated. No, he'll keep her close to him, Harry responded to correct her. I kneeled right beside Harry as I looked at him, trying to make his scar not hurt as much. I laid my hand softly on top of Harry's cam for comfort as Ron said, Look inside him, Harry. Try to find out where he is. If we find him, we'll find the snake. Then we're one step closer to ending this. You can do it, Harry, I muttered, as I noticed that he didn't flinch or pull away with my hand on top of his. We all glanced at each other as I watched Harry close his eyes to try and find Voldemort. Stay tuned for much more as there's much more of the story to cover. Don't forget to like and comment on my videos, including this one, and hit the bell to get notified for when I post new videos, and hit the bell to get notified for when I do post new videos. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Stay tuned.